In this video, I'm going to give you all the tips you need to have clear, healthy and glowy skin. There is so much that goes into it, not just what type of moisturizer you use. So here is the ultimate guide on how to have clear skin. Ain't no drama, we just tryna have a good time Me and my girl stepping out in the all black Little bit ten on her feet, don't know how to act Pulling up to the scene with a top back Money ain't even a thing cause we got Hi guys, Nancy here and welcome back to my channel and a new video My channel is all about lifestyle, fashion and beauty So make sure to subscribe down below before we start And yeah, let's get into my tips on how to have a clear skin Skin. I classified my tips into three groups makeup, skincare, and extra tips I have for you. And let's start with my skincare tips. First of all, be aware of what type of skin you have. Is your skin oily, dry, mixed, or sensitive? This is really important because you don't want to buy wrong products because it can be more damaging uh, to your skin than helpful. And choosing the right products obviously is going to be really good for your skin. Don't choose something because it smells good. The next thing is your age. Make sure to find skincare products that are for your age group. This is really important because you just want to have the right amount of ingredients that you need for your skin and not too much because it's going to be heavy on your skin and not good, uh, actually damaging, or it's not going to be enough for your skin. My third tip is SPF. We all know we should use SPF during the whole year, not just during summer. This is a habit that I cannot implement in my life. And I don't know why, but it's hard to make it a habit to put on an SPF cream every single day. I don't think I'm the only one who has this problem. So my tip is to make sure to get skincare products or makeup products like foundation with SPF in it. And I will talk more about foundation later in my makeup tips. So stay tuned for that. But SPF is really important and it's like a protection shield for your skin. Definitely a must. The next thing I want to mention is if you are using new skincare products and they break out your face, that's normal, first of all. And don't just go ahead and switch it all and just start with a new routine right away because of few breakouts. You need to give your skin a chance to get used to a new formula and if you switch it right away it can be more damaging. So really try to stick to the products you are using. You should like give it some time because it won't start doing its magic right away like three days after using it. So again if you get breakouts for new products that's completely normal. Also, if you're younger and you just started using skincare products and started with your skincare routine, you should really know that your skin is probably really sensitive. So anything you put on it, you have to be really mindful about it. And if it gives you breakouts, it's normal because your skin is, as I said, super sensitive since you haven't been putting anything on it. If you have some real issues with your skin, don't just play a doctor and Google the problem and ask your friends about it because it's your own personal thing. Everybody's skin is different, so you should really consider visiting a dermatologist and getting the right products for your face. The next thing is to know what's in your product. Read that ingredient list. And my advice on this is to choose uh, products with more natural ingredients in them, but be aware of these ingredients. These should not be in your skincare products. Silicones in your moisturizer, big no. Parabens, hormonally active ingredient. Palm oil is often found in moisturizer where, like why even, like it shouldn't be in there. PED in your moisturizers and any type of microplastic really. So the next thing is to form morning skincare routine and night skincare routine that you can really stick to. It should be realistic and it shouldn't be like too much, you know. My tip is to go for at least two steps and you can add four steps as well. So two to four steps uh, routine. A must products in my opinion are a cleansing gel and a moisturizer. So these are like a bare minimum. And then you can add some type of serum 
and an eye cream. Just remember, don't go overboard and use like three serums and two moisturizers. You don't need that. Keep it simple. And you can exfoliate your face once a week. I wouldn't recommend doing more than once a week. But if you have like really oily skin, you can also do like twice a week, but not more than that because you can really damage your skin. Face masks are awesome. And my personal favorite are sheet masks. I think they are extremely extremely moisturizing and hydrating and I like to use my jade roller and roll over the sheet mask I think that way your skin will absorb more of the product and be even more hydrated and you can also obviously use any type of face masks also like cleansing face masks exfoliating face mask or you can make your DIY face mask at home don't be afraid of DIY masks I used to do that all the time when I was younger with my mom and it's so much fun and it's really good for your skin because also you know what goes into it like exactly next I want to talk about makeup first of all go makeup free on the days that you can go makeup free I have probably like four makeup free days a week if not more <laughs> if you have to wear your makeup every single day which I think on weekends we can agree that you don't have to but it's fine try to take off your makeup as soon as you come home and with that being said I want to talk about cleaning your face and taking off your makeup I always do double cleansing this is something I I have been doing for years now since I started to use makeup and this is probably my number one tip when it comes to makeup double cleansing and one step of double cleansing has to be washing your face with some type of gel or like gel makeup remover because if you do just makeup wipes or something like that or only micellar water there is going to be so much residue makeup residue in your face and clogging your pores and we don't want that what I like to do is first I wash my face with gel and then I clean the makeup residues with some micellar water if I don't do that my face will never feel like super fresh and clean and that is why I will always recommend doing both of these steps when it comes to makeup the only product you should really worry about is your foundation it doesn't matter if you are getting like expensive branded eyeshadow like you can get a cheap eyeshadow and make it work but for foundation it's really important that you have a high quality foundation and if you ask me also something with SPF in it I really don't like using heavy foundations on my skin my face will get so dry from these I used to try them out for multiple times but it's just not working out for me so I like using BB creams or CC creams and currently I'm using it cosmetic CC cream I have been using it for like over a year now and that's the best foundation I can recommend to you like I got everyone to buy it in my life like in my personal life like everybody is super happy about it it will cover all imperfections on your face but it's actually not bad for your skin at all also it has SPF 50 in it which is just amazing the last makeup related tip is to frequently clean your makeup brushes I know we all know that but this is a reminder for you to go clean your makeup brushes just do it you know <laughs> so we came to the third group of tips and these are all going to be extras that you can do for your skin first I want to talk about how beauty comes from within really I know it's annoying but it's really the truth and if you don't treat your body well like if you don't get enough fruits and veggies in and if you don't drink enough water your skin will suffer as well and you cannot mask it with like expensive skincare products and makeup it will show off you know that your skin is not like really healthy and glowy so make sure to eat healthy eat whole foods and drink a lot of water because that is like one thing you need to do for having clear skin the next extra tip is to wash your hair frequently or at least get it off your face don't have like your hair like this all the time I actually have my hair up for most of the times but uh, if you have a greasy hair that will like transfer to your skin as well it sounds gross but it's true 
wash your bed sheets more frequently or at least your pillowcase also if you are living in a household with multiple members you should really think about having your own towel in your bathroom if you don't already have and use it just for your face i always used to have an extra towel for myself when i lived with my family and now i try to uh, change my towels every day if not every second day but i'll probably do it every single day so these were all of my tips on how to have a clear skin. I really hope this was helpful to you and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section down below and I will make sure to help you out. And yeah, thank you so so much for watching. Subscribe down below and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and I will see you in my next one really soon. Bye! Ain't no drama, we just tryna have a good time Me and my girl stepping out in the all black